Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we've got a Swift 684 in the workshop. You can see Dad up on the ladder, he's just finalizing the last few things. We had to take a Truma uh, semi-flex panel off the roof to just to make space for the array that we were going to put on. And we replaced it with a couple of 185 watt Victron panels. And there's really no other option to get as much solar as the customer wanted uh, and having that semi-flex panel on there. So that's why that semi-flex panel came off and we replaced it. But uh, we've uh, done a few installs on this t same model of van, similar to this. And there's quite a good way that you can make use of space that's kind of dead space. And uh, we quite like how it all comes together. So I thought I would take you through it and show you what we do on this particular model. So let's take a look. So starting in the motorhome, of course, the Servo GX up here. I've currently got it plugged into electric hookup, so it's bulk charging. Uh, but it's the standard Servo GX. Uh, this is a great product to be able to see everything all in one place. Obviously, inputs on the left, system in the center, outputs on the right. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. It's looking pretty good and uh, works nicely there with the existing panel and next to the Truma controller there above the door. And uh, pretty easy in this van, pretty straightforward to actually get the wires up to here. So we usually run it down the back of the fridge here and then usually underneath the van because this van doesn't have a false floor. So that's the easiest. And here is the bit that we figured out a little while ago, uh, which is a great place to fit a multi plus two KVA. So under this, this frame you have to have in there because it supports the bench seat or the uh, jump seat that goes here if you have passengers. So you can't do away with that frame unless you replace it with something else. Uh, but if you can take the frame out, it's just secured with several screws, so some on each foot. And then this board here uh, secures to it as well. So if you take that out, it then gives you access to the actual uh, frame that is bolted to the chassis for the seat belt and the seat and you're able to then mount the multiplus onto that which works really well plenty of space as you can see the gap between that frame there there's no rattling and obviously you're mounting it on something very secure so it's a solid mount and that's just dead space anyway i guess the only uh, drawback with this is it limits your access to the water pump in that a little bit but there's still enough space. If you were to take this frame out, there would still be enough space there to get access to the water pump and all that stuff there. So it works really well. And it's close within a couple of meters worth of cable run to run your cables under there, through here, under the step, and then under the seat, which is where the battery was. So from factory, the AGM battery comes underneath the seat. And so we take the seat off, take that battery out, and the biggest battery we can get under there is a, is a, is a 300 amp hour lithium, so like the Fogstar 300. Then we always mount on the back of the seats. We have on this particular install, we have the MPBT and the Orion behind that back cover there. And then on the front of the seat, let me get in here. So on the front of the seats, we have the shunt and the relay that we use to disable the split charge and the sergeant and then some uh, bus bar distributions. And then of course the switch over there, that little black thing in the center of the screen there, is the servo switch. And then on the back of this board is where the servo is mounted. So pretty busy under seat, but uh, it's it works well and it's a good use of the space. So it's compact and everything fits. Okay, and up here on the roof, this is where the uh, Truma solar panel was. So the trouble with the placement of this is that it's so close to the TV aerial is that when that thing swings around, it would be shading this panel. So that panel would actually have not been very productive at the best of times. And obviously, if the TV aerial was up, it would cast more shade. So this panel, I bet, was producing very little uh, when the aerial was pointing backwards. So we removed that panel and replaced it with two 185. So they fitted pretty much as far back as they can go before that seam on the roof there, making good use of the space. And then of course, on the front here, you've got the dome, which you don't really want to be putting a rigid panel on. You can put a semi-flex panel on there, but this is so busy with that windbreak there, and there's really not a lot of room to put a, a more panels up front there. So this is sort of making the most of the space that's available here. So there we have it, folks. Massive upgrade for the customer going from like a 90 amp hour AGM battery to 300 amp hours of lithium plus 300 and what's it 360 watts of solar a DC DC charger multi plus inverter charger 
and a Serbo GX to monitor everything. So huge upgrade from what they had before, and I'm sure it's going to give them lots of fun adventures off-grid. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.